Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share to the YouTube channel. You are extremely appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. Okay? I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy in, and intent immediately and permanently. I call in one of the purest of white light. All evil plans of your enemies are being returned to them, are being dismantled. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is returned and is being returned to you. As I have said, so shall it be. Lord have mercy. Listen, all of these reverses, it's like being a whole day of reverse, reverse, reverse. I don't know what is going on. There's a whole lot of reverses going on. A whole lot. So someone, someone is either trapped in something and cannot make an offer, or someone believes that they've trapped you and you're not able to get your way out. You won't be receiving an offer. This is something that is like supposed to end you or something. Like someone does not want you receiving a gift. Someone does not want you receiving an offer. They think that something is over. Oh. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, so someone wants you to be stuck in a situation, not receive something. Someone is not wanting to let go. They don't want to let go. Someone knows that something is over, but they're trying to hold on to it. I feel like this is kind of continuing my previous message that I did. There's a masculine, either a masculine or a feminine energy that resides in their masculine energy. They are refusing to let something go. Like they've trapped themselves in something. They can't get out of it. They thought they had you trapped, but they're realizing that you're not trapped. They wanted to either come in and make an offer to you. You don't want the offer. You're like over it. This could be someone from your past, someone you dated, or just someone you were acquainted with. They want to come in and give you an offer, or they wanted to come in and give you an offer but you don't have any fun memories of this person. You're kind of like done with the situation and ready to move on. But they are dead set on coming in to give you an offer. Someone binded themselves. They're stuck in something they can't get out of. They thought you were stuck, but they're surprised. It's, it's like someone making all kinds of moves. Someone thought they were playing chess, but they were really playing checkers while you were playing chess around them. Now they're realizing that they're stuck and it's a game over. But even though they know game is over, they're still trying to hold on to you, even though they don't really have you. It's that kind of situation. It's a little complicated and ridiculous. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. Someone is heartbroken. They're realizing that it's done. They lost. But they're desperate to hold on to you or they're desperate to de defeat you, desperate to bring you an ending. Like it's, it's done. But they won't let go. They will not let go. I'm telling you, they will not let go. It's done. Whatever this is, it's done. There's no new beginning with you. You're not wanting an offer from this person. You know someone did something to you. You are aware that someone did something to you. Like you know the actions they took against you, or you just you you, you just intuitively know. That this person from your past either betray you or went out of their way to cause you an ending or tried to cause you an ending and you don't want anything to do with this person so you're moving on. This person could be having fun memories of you and things like that, reminiscing about the old days when you two met, when you two became friends, whatever it is, when you two were working together, whatever it is. But you're not even in that mindset. It doesn't even look like you think about this person. It's that you've moved on and someone is still in an old paradigm and they can't get over it. Like, they, like someone is shocked that you are over them. Someone thought you were like stuck. Someone thought like another energy was stuck on them and said, she can't live without me. He can't live without me. 
he's always going to want to have contact with me or she's always going to want to have contact with me. Something of that nature, but they're finding out the hard way that you don't really care. You don't care about what's going on. Okay? You're not going through an ending. You're not wanting an offer from this person. Like, you're basically saying, I'm good. There's someone, if you receive an offer from someone, it's going to be to trap you into something. So your ancestors are telling you not to accept any offer from someone specific and you will know who that person is. Okay? There are people in life sometimes, they're there to help you just to trap you. I'm telling you, you you're you're good you're like no i'm good i'm good like you know something you know the truth about a situation you know the truth about a situation you're genuine someone is thinking highly of you but you're not thinking highly of this person you're like nah the past is giving me ptsd i don't want to be part of that something like that and if you're someone that struggles with ptsd please Please seek professional help so you can heal from that. That's a heavy burden to live with. Yeah, someone someone is having fond memories of you. They see you in very high honor. Things are not going in this person's favor. They're having a hard time walking away. Someone is trapped. They cannot leave a situation. They think that you're trapped. Someone said they were trapping another energy. They said, hey, if we do this, they won't be able to move forward. They won't be able to go anywhere. Either this is something that already happened or this is something that's coming up. This is what someone is intending to do or a group of people are intending to do. is to block someone and block them from receiving an offer. Like keep them stuck to block them from receiving an offer, from having a new beginning, from connecting with someone, receiving a gift, something like that. They're trying to make things go in the opposite direction. Like the wheel of fortune is supposed to be moving in the right direction for you. But these people are doing things to make it go in the reverse. So like they don't want your life moving forward. Even if they don't, they, they don't want that wheel moving at all. Like just stuck. Like they want you just stuck. Unhappy. Stagnant. Okay. They don't want you walking away. Someone is refusing to walk away. Like you already left this situation, but someone is having a hard time walking away. I want to read what this Eight of Cups says in the reverse. It said, oh, Epicurean material pleasure, defend status quo, hmm, peripatetic, peripatetic, wandering around, regret, a weary traveler. Dang. I've never heard this word before. Peripatetic. That's a new one. I'm going to have to look that up. That's a new vocabulary I need to add to my, my list. Dang. There's no forward movement for someone. Someone did not heal. They're, they're having a hard time recovering from something. Someone is having a lot of regrets about an action they took against you, okay? You may not even know someone is hiding it, but someone is not able to move forward. This is what they were intending for a genuine energy. They're like, nah, you can't show up to this court case. You can't show up here. You can't leave. We're gonna end you. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pay someone to end you. And the universe is gonna be intervening on your behalf. You're going to be told to do something and you need to pay attention to that. Like you're receiving a lot of messages right now. So you need to take action. Take action. Like they want you stuck. If there's a court case going on, they may be maybe not wanting to move forward with their court case. Whatever it is. Like the people are planning to end someone, but it's not going to go like they plan. I'm telling you. They're planning to end someone of high honor, a privileged lady. You could be this privileged lady uh, collective, but there's a woman in here that's about to go through an ending because this person does not know how to let go. This is someone toxic. She expected to have some type of new beginning, get away with something, but she cannot. Collective, be vigilant is what I'm being told to tell you. Be vigilant. 
okay? There are wicked people behind the scenes planning something for someone, someone's ending. It's that they don't want you receiving something. Someone, someone has like an ego where they don't want you defeating them. Someone, someone made some type of deal with either a group or a person and they have to follow through with that deal. And them following through with that deal has to do with an ending for you. If they cannot end you, then they go through an ending. So it's kind of like a, it's you or me. And collective is going to be you. This person is going to be going through an ending, not you. Okay, this is what they're planning for you. Like they want to surprise you. Like, like it, it's game over, right? It's game over. Someone may have received a message that things are not going in their favor. You don't want anything to do with them. They cannot come to you, cannot come near you. Yeah, they cannot come near you. You're taking action collected to move forward with your life. Go for the things that you are being told to go for. And someone cannot come near you because you know this person betrayed you. This person betrayed you. Right, and they chose some type of energy over you that just was not the right energy. Someone chose, someone made some type of impulsive action, took some type of impulsive, impulsive action, and it's not going in their favor. It has led to an ending. This could be a feminine energy as well. Whatever you are being told to do, keep it discreetly. You have eyes on you, you have a whole lot of eyes on you. Because these people are desperate to block you. I'm telling you, they are desperate. They are desperate. Someone is losing sleep behind the scenes. Someone is like easily irritable right now. Because it's either you or them. They stand to lose everything. They feel like you don't have anything to lose. Maybe you may not be wealthy. They may be wealthy. So they feel like they have everything to lose. But them gaining everything and keeping everything means that you are out of here. And it's not happening. Okay? It's not happening. This person, person, uh, um, oh Lord, this is a heavy read. I'm like trying to keep a hold of it, but it's just so heavy. This person is like stuck in their mind. They can't get out of it. Someone want, someone, someone might even know what's coming for them. Someone knows what's coming for them. There's an ending for them. They know that something is not going in their favor. A decision has already been made for things to be balanced out. Someone is realizing that whatever connection they had with this person was not genuine. It was mostly lust, right? They didn't have clear judgment when they made this choice. So they're wanting out of a connection with this person. Someone is really desperate behind the scenes. I keep hearing the word desperate. Like someone is really desperate behind the scenes because of truth has been exposed. Because a truth has been exposed. There's something this person has been doing behind the scenes is being exposed. And this is leading, causing an ending for her or him, whoever this is. Remember, energy is fluid in tarot. So this could be a masculine, this could be a feminine, but they're falling from grace. They're going through some ending, some type of ending. They were expecting things to go in their favor in a, in a case, in a situation. They were just, or maybe they were just expecting for karma to go in their favor, but it looks like they're reaping some type of bad karma. Okay. Someone may have sent this person a message telling them that, oh, you know, we have it under control. Everything is under control. This is going to go in your favor. You're going to be able to defeat this person. This person is stuck. They're bonded and things like that. But it's not so. It's not so. Yeah, it, this person, whoever this is, they have a lot to be anxious about. You're good, collective. You're good. 
So whoever gave them that message, they more than likely told them, yeah, we have them blocked. They can't move forward. They can't go anywhere. They can't do nothing. But that's not, that's not what it is. You're still able to move on. You're still able to go for what it is that you want to. Your pathway is still clear. There's something that these people don't see and they won't be able to see it. You're being told to move in silence. I think I'm going to need that to title, make that the title of the video. I'm telling you, move in silence, but keep moving forward. Keep pushing forward. Don't let anyone distract you. Stay focused on your path. Keep moving forward. Right now, your enemies, they're going through a lot of endings and, and anxiety behind the scenes. But when you see them, they're going to have themselves together, looking content. But there's a storm going on behind the scenes. There's smoke on the mountain. And you know when you see smoke on the mountain, that's why there's fire. It's not as it seems. Okay? If you keep pushing forward, this is you. A brand new passionate beginning. A fresh start. Move. Okay? Someone is like a sweet talker. Is what I just heard. Someone is a sweet talker. I'm telling you. They don't want you reaping your harvest. But you're being told to take action and go for it. Someone does not want you reaping your harvest. Like they don't want things going in your favor. Someone is interfering. Someone sent some type of message either to a lawyer may have spoken to a lawyer, may have looked at the details of a situation and they know it's not going in their favor. And because they know they're going to lose this case, they're trying to do you something out of your light, something like that. Because they know they're not going to win. It's not going in their favor. Okay? So some some for some people in this group they may want you they may tell you to, to stay with them, work with them, settle with them, compromise with them. Something like that. There's something going on. And it's not everything is not clear yet. But either way, you're moving forward, collective. I have to take it easy with this message because I feel like this is a very important message. I usually come on here and clown around a little bit, add my little quirky humor in these reads, but this one, I'm going to put the humor aside because I think this is, this is imperative. This is very important. This is an important message for someone. People are trying to block your forward movement. They don't want you receiving some type of opportunity. Someone does not want anyone helping you at all, at all. Like someone wants you dead and gone. This is someone very broken, bitter, bruised. Whatever you can think of, this is this person. They don't want you receiving any type of help. This person has been trying to manifest some type of ending for you. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. This is just a dark and negative energy. It's over for this person. They had the chance to do things differently. It's what I'm hearing. But they refuse to do it differently. Someone is just greedy. Like they feel entitled to things that don't belong to them. And it's over. Like some, like a situation has been done. Like something, something has been done. Like finish, finito. But this person is still trying to linger it on, carry it on. Someone does not know how to let go. They're trying to put an end to some type of union or a gift you were supposed to receive. They don't want you receiving help from anyone at all. Like they are discouraging people. They're like, don't help her. Don't help him. If you help her, you're going to lose all your privileges. Something like that. It's really sickening. I don't think people realize how sick-minded this person is. Or maybe some of them are just as sick-minded too. But someone is very sick mentally. Like literally, they are sick-minded. They have some type of mental illness. 
Someone is very superficial, greedy, low down, classless. But if you see them, they dress the best of the best. But they're classless as can be. Okay? They've been trying to manifest some type of ending for you, but it's not happening. They don't want you receiving a gift from someone. You're going to receive it either way. It doesn't have to be from that person, but whatever you're meant to receive, you're going to receive it. They've been tempering with things, either a case, a situation, balance being brought into a situation, someone coming towards you. They've been tempering with a lot. They don't want someone... They don't want someone bringing balance into a situation. And whoever they were sending towards you to end you, they can't come near you. They're not able to manifest this. Like, they're not able to pay people anymore to end you. It's what I'm hearing. There's no more money. Or no one is accepting the bribery. Someone has been bribing people a lot. They say, hey, I have... $300,000. I need you to go take care of her or him. And people are rejecting it. I think they're coming into to know that you are someone of high honor. You stand for what's right. So people may be receiving, re refusing her bribery. They may be turning away from her, him, whoever this is. Because this is someone that operates from their lower side, their south, south node. It's really sad. Someone has a lot of entities attached to them. A lot of entities attached to this person. Someone needs like more help than people realize that she or he needs. Okay, someone needs help. They have mental issues. You know, this is like taking orders from someone for years, not realizing that they have a mental illness, but they project that onto other people. If they see someone, they know that person is smart, even smarter than them. They'll start some type of rumor and say, hey, she has a mental illness. He has a mental illness. Don't take them too serious because they're intimidated by you. They're intimidated. Yeah, they're intimidated by you. They want to feel like they're better than you. Like they have more to offer to the world than you, but this person don't have much to offer to the world. All they know how to do is take from other people in different ways. Take your joy, take your happiness, take your money, take your partners, take whatever. And this makes them feel powerful. They say, I took that from them. I'm better than them now. I took that from them. I'm better than them now. I took their man. I took their woman. I'm better than them now. That means I'm better than you if I can take your man or your woman. That's how someone thinks. It's very low vibrational. It's very low vibrational. Yeah. Someone has been paying people to end your work and your commitment. Say that you're not committed. They may have paid some type of leader to put an end to your work. Is that destroy this person's work? If you have a business, destroy this person's business. And someone may have temper with your business. They may not be even able to fix what they've broken, right? Because they want you left out in the cold. Like someone is very intimidated by you. I keep being told that word, intimidated. There's an energy that's intimidated by another energy. They don't want you in this energy. They want you in this. But this is what's happening to them. We're calling judgment in this situation. What our enemies intended for us to lose, they're losing. Someone wants you like out in the cold. Poor, homeless. They don't care if you have kids, if you have a sick child, if you're disabled, if you're anything. They don't care. This is how malicious someone is. Someone is very malicious, cold-hearted, vain, void of human emotions. And if she can see the day that you are in this energy, all is well with her. 
she will feel fulfilled or he will feel fulfilled in life. That's sickening. That's disturbing. And someone does all this malicious work behind the scenes, but when she comes out in public, this is how she presents herself to be in the upright. This woman is having financial issues behind the scenes as well. She's having financial issues. And it's only about to get worse for her while things get better for you. Things are about to get worse for this person. If this is a woman, this is a man, it don't matter. They're going through an ending. Everything they intended for you. There are people behind the scenes of your lives wondering how you are still here. And there's some of them are sitting back eager to carry out a plan to take you out. And they think you don't know what they're planning. They think you don't know. You know your enemies are coming for you. You know your enemies are planning to take you out. Be vigilant. That's what the universe has been saying. Be vigilant. Someone is cold, cunning, and calculated. I'm telling you, cold, cunning. They think that if you're homeless or something, they can trap you in something that you have no business being part of. Either bring you legal issues and then they can come me and say, well, I can bail you out, but you're going to be my B now. You're going to belong to me. Is it? Um, no, I'm good. I'll stay here. Someone wants to come in and be a savior, but they put you in the situation you're in. Make it make sense. And they're living in anxiety, not knowing what's about to happen. Yeah, this person is going through sorrows. This is what they wanted for you. They thought you were having anxiety and fears. Someone is finding out you're living a vita loca. You're not worried about anything because you already know what's about to happen. Someone is delusional. All they know how to do is to dress pretty. That's it. But they're having anxiety behind the scenes. This could be a masculine energy. Living in fear. Don't know what's about to happen. Yeah, because they partook in this. They snuck you with these people. There's a privileged lady that's about to be put out of an institution. You won't be able to return. You will not be able to return. Someone betrays some type of connection in here. You may have extended some type of genuine offer to someone as far as a friendship, an olive branch, something like that, right? And they disregarded that. So now that things are going in the opposite for them, they may want to come in now. Hey, would you like to be friends? It's a no. It's a no. But how can you, yeah, how can you even be friends? With, I'm telling you, it's a no. You don't want the offer from the person. You don't want the offer. It's a no. You don't have any fond memories of this person. This is a lover, a close friend. This was possibly a union that was divinely meant to be, but this person betrayed your trust, betrayed your loyalty. This is someone disloyal. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is someone disloyal, not committed, no discipline. Okay? Dang. The Knight of Pentacles, the, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is like someone that is literally like someone is hard to get to. They're unresponsive. They don't respond to things maturely. This is immaturity, basically. Immaturity. Like they need to, to sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. The person is immature as heck. Unreasonable. Non-committal is what I'm hearing. Vain. 
someone is so delusional, they think that when if you are out in the cold, they can come in. It doesn't have to be this feminine energy. It can be a masculine energy. They think that you who come, out, you're in the cold. You've lost everything. They're going to come in and save the day, Captain, save the whole day. You're not going to accept that offer from them because you already know what this person's intention is, is to keep you binded to them. Someone wants to be attached to you. It's that someone wanting you, but they know they can't have you. So they think giving you some type of false offer is going to keep you attached to them, force you to have some type of connection with them. And the whole time you're looking like, I don't want nothing from you. You're trying to trap me with you. You're trying to have some type of contract with me. I don't want nothing from you. This will be you stuck, bonded, unable to move, waiting forever. Don't do it. People have taken options, uh, actions to sabotage your work. And they think you don't know. These are foolish and small-minded people. You're surrounded by wolves. Wolves in sheep's clothing with ill intentions for you. And they know you know what's going on. And you better play your cool and act like you don't know. Play your cool. If you ask them something and they give you some type of ridiculous answer, play along with it. Play along. There are certain situations you'll be in star seed. You need to play the enemy's game better than they do. They want to play with your mind, play with theirs as well. They want to play with your emotions, play with theirs as well. It's like, I see you. You don't see me because I'm the one with foresight. But I see you. Thank you. I'm the one with foresight. Someone thinks they're very clever. Someone takes pride in their magic, their mental magic, how manipulative they are. But at the end of the day, all they really are is immature. This is the energy they gave. They don't know that. They don't realize that. They are immature. Someone thinks they're very clever with words, but they're not. It's that you can see right through everything they're saying. Everything they're saying, you can see right through it. It's like, I know who you are. Your energy is familiar. It's dark like everybody else around you. And you're trying to mask it to be something else. I know who you are. Do not accept this offer. They may even be deciding not to give you this offer. You need to thank the universe. Thank the universe because this is someone that's lusting after some of you. And the moment they give you something, they start asking you for favors. Before you know it, you're on your knees doing things you will never be doing. Don't do it, collective. Rely on the most high to see you through. Rely on the most high to see you through. Okay? When you get, when things are going on in you all's lives and you decide to start worrying about what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, when is this going to happen, that's when you start getting into desperate energies and people can come in and make you offers and you'll say, oh yeah, I'll take it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm, mm -mm. No, don't, don't put yourself in a desperate situation mentally. Always think. It's going to be okay. It's going to work itself out. Everything has its time. There is timing, divine timing for everything. What I've learned to do when people are offering me, offering me help, I just tell them, hey, I'll think about it. I know I'm not thinking about it because I already read the situation. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it because I already know what's going on. I already know. Yeah, I already know. Someone, no, don't do it. Do not do it. 
Do not accept an offer from someone that's coming to you with it. It's immature offer. It's not solid. The Knight of Pentacles up in the upright is a little bit more hopeful, more promising. Those are characters that are a little bit more solid. When they're in the reverse, this is someone unhinged, someone childish, someone immature, someone that masks themselves very well. When you see them, you think that they're mature as heck. But honey, when that veil falls down, oh, it's like you're dealing with a kindergartner. Those are the people that do the tick for tack. If you do something to them, they have to do something back to you. That's this kind of person. Thank you. That's this kind of person. Like someone is literally sitting back to watch your life fall apart so they can come in and save you. Save you. Don't do it, collective. If someone comes in to give you an offer and it does not feel right, it's not the one for you. Everything happens in divine timing. Balance has been brought into this situation. Leave it at that. There are some of you, you have people around you trying to give you offers and you already know. You know what it is. You know what it is. They're trying to come in and gaslight you. Steal from, yeah, steal from you. This, uh, this is what you don't know. People have ulterior motives. Or they think you don't know that they have ulterior motives. Someone wants to get into your personal space. Whether that's your life, whatever it is. They want to get to know you personally so they can know you. And know how to manipulate you. My brothers and sisters, learn how to shut people out. You want to have a conversation? Let's have this conversation. But honey, it's not going anything more than this conversation. It's not because I already read you at the door. I have people in my energy now. They don't know I've been aware of them for months. But I've been sitting back and just watching. Just watching. Just a watching. No, you are slimy as heck. But... My ancestors want me to play my part. They want me to stay safe. So here we go. And the whole time they think I don't know. I've had people sit right across from me not knowing that I knew the whole time what they were doing. And then they will smile and smile. This is what's going on for some of you. You have people around you. They are working overtime to block you, end you, destroy you, and you know what they're doing. But what do you do every day? You show up and you show out in the best version of yourself. You smile with them. You say hello to everybody and you treat everyone kindly because you know what's coming for these people. Yeah, this is you. You're staying calm as possible, being strong. But you know what's coming. That's why you're calm. You already know what's coming. And it's not something they're going to be able to run away from, block or nothing. Someone no longer wants to work. <laughs> Someone does not want to work with a group of friends anymore. He either sees them or she sees them as immature as heck. These are people that are vain and foolish as can be. They know the truth about these people now. They know the truth. Okay. They don't want to work with these people anymore. People are being told to move on. Go find healing. It's time to heal. It is time to heal your bloodlines. Stop with this nonsense. This immaturity. Someone is so desperate out here to defeat another person. They want you physically out of here. This is how desperate someone is to defeat you. Not because you cause harm to this person, not because you lie on this person, not because you did anything to this person. Someone is just jealous and intimidated. That's all. 
This is possibly someone you met and you were very kind to them. Very genuine to this person. And it bothered the demon within them. So they've made it their mission to take you out. Someone maybe even spreading lies about you. Telling people you did something to them. You didn't. You didn't do nothing to this person. All they are is jealous. Finito. That's it. Jealousy. Jealousy, jealousy. We don't care. We don't care. Like, grow up. Someone wants to come in with some type of immature offer, whatever this is. For some of you, someone has been trying to reach you. Someone has been trying to reach you. And they're not able to reach you because people are interfering with the messages. Someone has been trying repeatedly to get in contact with you, to give you something or bring something to your attention. And every time they send that message, someone interjects. Either someone blocks the message or someone deletes the message so you don't see it. Your life is invaded. And you, you have the people closest to you to thank for that. They were bribed. They were bribed. Someone is about to lose their job. They were trying to get you to lose your job. They are about to lose their job. Your ancestors said, nah, she's not losing her job. He's not losing his job. You are. What you intended for this person is going to be happening to you. Someone has lost protection. Someone either had the gift to manifest before. They don't have that anymore. It has been stripped away. These are the consequences you have to deal with. When you let envy, wickedness, maliciousness take over you, you lose your spiritual gifts, your natural abundance. You lose that. Someone is not able to manifest anymore. That gift has been taken away. There's a lot of illusions going on here. The full picture may not even be understood, but it's okay if you all don't understand the full scope of what's going on. That's okay. It'll be revealed to you in due time if the universe feels that it's necessary for you to know that. But just know that there are illusions going on and everything is going to be a-okay. Someone has lost grace. They have fallen from grace. Someone was going to take some type of impulsive action to come towards you. Some type of quick action. And there was divine intervention. Your ancestors said, we, we think not, ma'am. We think not, sir. You're going to have to stay where you are. If you don't have any genuine intentions for this person or child, you can't come around them. You can't come around them. Someone is supposed to be healing. Someone was supposed to be healing. But they didn't do that. They instead went and got in cahoots with a group of people. Now they know that you and them have a contract or they want to be friends with you or whatever it is. And the moment they decided to come to you, Spirit said, no, we don't think so. You haven't healed yet. You need to seal onto common waters and heal before you come to this person. That is crazy. How much effort people will make to block other people. I'm telling you, everything about this situation is not known yet, but it will be clarified. It'll be clarified. People are trying to make your lives as difficult as possible. They say, oh, you think you're all that? We'll show you. We're going to turn everyone in this city against you. Let's see how you get out of that. And the whole time, they don't realize their lives are being dismantled. Losing their jobs, losing their, their family members, houses, cars, stability, losing everything. Losing privilege. 
These people want you trapped, but they're trapping themselves. Make it make sense. They want you trapped, but they're trapping themselves. They want your life, lives dismantled, but they're dismantling their lives. It's like every action these people take is really going against them. And they're trying to see, is she hurt? Is he hurt? Is he having anxiety? Is she having anxiety? Is she worried? Is she losing it? They say, no, this person is chill. You're the one walking around with a mask. Yet someone is not doing well, I'm telling you. And this is because of everything they've been doing. Someone is not doing well. Someone is sick. Someone is miserable. Mm. Someone is disappointed in themselves for the plans that they have for you or the actions, the plans that they intended for you. There is no recovery. No recovery. Is this a queen of wands that's sick? Someone is sick. This car, I've been seeing it. It pops out and then it goes back. I'm there. Okay, I see you. It pops out and then it goes back in. I'm there. Okay. Someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone took some type of impulsive action and the universe stepped in. Something backfired real quick. She said, ah, and the universe said, ah, uh -uh, not today. We're sick of this mess. Someone is sick. They've lost a lot, and they're not doing too well. Trying to recover, this is them. Sick and miserable. Misery loves company. And she has a lot of it to give. Heck, she is misery. Someone said they had the perfect plan to take you out and they're realizing they did not. Things are being balanced out. A decision has been made either in the court system, in a relationship, something like that. In an institution, a decision has been made. Maybe someone decided that they're going to go marry a different person, commit to a different person. Hmm. Ah, oh my gosh. It's the Hierophant and the devil. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. There is either a toxic couple that pretends to be in the upright, but this is them. They could be the ones behind the scenes causing all of this commotion and ocean. Okay, it's the higher fin and the devil. That's like a contradiction if there ever was one. Physically. That's as contradicting as it gets. Someone wants you to go from this to this. It's not going to happen. Someone may have married this energy thinking that they were this energy. This is what they are. Someone trapped themselves in a toxic union. They thought they had met their star seed. Meanwhile, they had the star seed walking in front of them back and forth all day. All day. And they went for something else. And they're finding out this is what they're in. Heartbreak. Deceit. Someone married the wrong energy. Someone committed themselves to the wrong energy. It's a tower. They're realizing they missed out. Someone is going to have to sit back and watch you thrive in life. One day they're going to see you and say, I used to know her. I used to know him. Used to, could have, would have, should have. Okay. Someone trapped themselves with the wrong energy. I'm telling you. They trapped themselves. There may be a divorce going on. There may be some type of meeting going on to bring balance into a situation. There's a group of people working together. Trying to fix 
something a couple, a karmic couple did. This karmic couple is going through an ending. They don't have a choice but to balance things out. There's a group of people working together behind the scenes. I'm telling you to expose something, to fix something, bring balance into something. What is the hermit in reverse? Not following wise advice, foolishness, ignorance, immaturity, needs more introspection and wisdom. Exactly. These people are trying to fix something. There's a divine masculine in here that acts foolish. There's a divine masculine in here that acts foolish. This person may be just divine because their ancestors are protecting them. They may have some type of wisdom, secret knowledge or something. Or they know their craft very well, but this is someone foolish and impulsive. Someone does not heed to wisdom. Like the universe can tell this person 10 million times, don't do that. And they'll say, I'm going to go find out for myself. I'll see for myself. And every time they do that, it never goes in their favor. But someone is very egotistical. Someone think they are the masters of illusion. Someone may be going through some type of exposure. Like, hey, he pretends to be divine. He pretends to be a pillar of the community. But did you know this is him? Foolish. Doing things he shouldn't be doing. Karmic fighting behind the scenes and everything. Please don't tell me someone's divine masculine is stealing behind the scenes. Please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me someone's divine masculine is being exposed like this. Damn. This person is calculating. Cunning. I'm trying to figure out why they are showing up in a divine energy. This is someone impulsive. They may even be someone that sleeps around. Come on. Come on. There are people working together to balance something out. They feel like something was unfair because of the actions of a toxic couple or a karmic feminine energy. It's like the truth is being exposed about you. Someone said you were something and it's being shown that you weren't so your victory is ensured. Things are going in your favor because the truth has been exposed. Something was hidden. Whatever someone was trying to hide, they can't hide it, hide it anymore. Too many people know. Too many people know. There were too many hands in the pots and it's too late to take hands out of the pots. People are so invested now. This is like having a mission to destroy someone and your ego gets the best of you. So you just start recruiting people all over the, the freaking world. Say, so, hey... It's me. I know we haven't met in, we haven't seen each other in like 30 years, but I have this little job for you. Here's $30,000. Someone has worn out their bank account. Someone has depleted their bank account trying to destroy you, and now an ending is insured for them. And they don't know what to do. They've already been told what to do. They have to compromise with you, but they don't want to do that. Too much ego, too much pride. All the problems that they cause for themselves. Okay? You didn't do anything to these people. I'm telling you. And they know. <laughs> they know it's over. 
They know it's over. You're showing up as the high priestess. You're strong as heck and moving forward and your enemies are going through an ending. You're about to be making an arrival somewhere and it's a rude awakening for everyone involved. It's a, oh, oh, she made it. He made it. We did everything to block you from coming here. How did you do that? How? We were, yeah, we did everything to block you. How did you do that? We were trying to imprison you. We were trying to end you, bring you issues. And here you are. Thank you. Here you are. Knowing every single one of our moves and dodging them like bullets. You forfeit the battles that you, you know you need to. We don't understand you. You seem to know us very well. People have been studying you all, but they still don't know you. These are people that can spend a million years studying you and they'll never know because you're authentic. There's something about authenticity that is hard to study. You're not trying to be like anyone. You're not trying to fit in. You don't want to fit in. You don't want anyone asking you to join a group or anything. You don't care about stuff like that. So it's very hard to study authenticity. It's very hard. And you're, someone here is <laughs> pissed off because, well, you know that they're going through a tower. The whole group is going through a tower. They know that you know, and it's pissing them off. But that's not your place to care about. That's not your job to care about something like that. Yeah, they, they've trapped themselves. Like, you know they're trapped. You know they're going through endings. You know what's coming. That you are aware. <laughs> you are aware. This is what they want for you. This is you. Elevating. Moving forward. Accelerating. You saw that gas out gas lighting car again. This is collective. <laughs> this is one of the situations where your enemies don't know that their hands are exposed. Listen, I say your enemies. And here it comes. Your enemy does not know that his or her hands are exposed. They can't hide anymore. Someone used to do something from behind the scenes, hiding who they were, their true intentions, their character. And it's all in the open now. And you're speaking the truth about what they've been doing, what they were planning. And it's pissing them off. And I shut up. Oh, I'm so sick of that person's voice. I wish they would just shut up. Stand your ground. If they don't want to hear you, what? They can go away. They can turn the phone off. I'm telling you. Someone did not have clarity on a situation. Someone does not have clarity on a situation. This could be you collective. We're going to be straightforward with this. Sometimes we don't know everything. So there's something you don't know. There's something your enemies don't know. There's something you're not seeing. This could be you or this could be your en enemies. There's something you're not seeing. Yeah. Mm. Dang. This, uh, yeah, this Queen of Pentacles, I have gotten tired of this woman. She's in every reading I do. I'm sick of this lady. She's not receiving an offer. She thought she had control of a situation. She don't. She was expecting to move forward. She's not. She was just expecting to have you trapped in something you're not. Is that oh she's not she's not stuck that we can't we can't uh, uh for uh, frame her for something uh, no ma'am you can't you can't 
It said there's something your enemies was, were planning. Someone took some type of impulsive action and they just dismantled the whole plan. It said, oh, oh, gosh. Why did we do that? Someone is crying behind the scenes, by the way. They're crying. Because it's over. You are in the clear. You're in the clear. But it, they're not. Someone took some type of impulsive action. I did a read what a day or two ago. <laughs> and I knew what someone was going to do. And I said, I'm not even going to say what this person is going to do. I'm going to let them do it. Someone did it. And it, here, here's the results. They took impulsive action. They're disappointed. They martyred themselves. Someone got so desperate to do something. To take you down. That they martyred themselves. They literally help, help you see things from a higher perspective. Like see the whole system. Everything they're doing, you see it. You're like, oh, well, you know, thank you. This just confirms everything I've been thinking. Everything I've been seeing. I thought I was going cuckoo for there for a while. I thought I was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for a little bit there. But thank you for exposing your hands. And now they're living in fear. It's like, oh, now we can't do this to her. We can't do this to him. Thank you. We need to thank our uh, our enemies. Because sometimes they don't realize. I'm telling you, they're not happy. Sometimes, a lot of the times, they don't realize the actions they're taking are just helping us. Now they're going through endings, unhappy. They thought you were done. Someone thought you were stuck. They said, we've blocked her. And they said, no, you didn't block nobody. They're still going to have wish fulfillment. Someone else in here, your divine masculine knows everything these people have been doing. And they still see you as wish fulfillment. By the way, they know everything. This is like a group of karmics coming to a divine masculine to tell him, hey, that feminine energy over there, stay away from her. She's dark. She's into dark work. Hmm? That one right there? You mean the one that's always like smiling, polite to people, says hello to everyone? That one right there? Yes. She's in the dark magic. She sends negative energy to people. She causes people endings. She causes people endings. And the whole time that man is looking at them like, oh yeah, you're obviously a nutcase. I've already studied this person and I already know the truth about them. I already know what they are and I know 100% they're not that. Someone knows the truth about you, Collective. Someone still sees you as a wish fulfillment. They thought it was going to get someone to reject you. I'm telling you, someone knows the truth about you. Someone has very high and keen knowledge about you. They know you. This person knows you so well, it's terrifying. So anything someone comes and says to them about you, they'll know if the person is BSing. But guess what? They won't say anything. Someone is very sharp. Sharp as a two-edged sword. And they just sit back and let people say what they want. They say, you know she doesn't take baths. Hmm? You know she sleeps around. Hmm? In his mind, he said, really? That's the best you can do? Like, really? That's, what, that's what's called being of high moral character. High honor. You know the truth before people come to you with BS. Someone already knows the truth. He knows the truth. Again, there's something in here someone is going to do. I'm not going to say anything because this is actually helpful. 
but I'm going to leave it so it can happen. Okay? Take charge of your life and move forward. Someone is going to be doing that too. And it's going to be good. You taking charge, sir, whoever you are, to do something, bring balance into a situation, it's going to be in your favor. I think you're worried about doing something and then being rejected. You're not going to be rejected. It's going to go in your favor. People are, are unhappy because you see someone as wish fulfillment. So they've been trying to block you, bind you, so you cannot move forward to do something. But you're removing yourself from this situation, whoever you are. Yeah, putting an end to this top. Listen, right on time. Putting an end to this toxic cycle, toxic family, whatever this is. This toxic group, all the fighting, the competition, all the chaos, the drama. You're over it. You're like, I can't. I can't with these people. I got to get away from them. It's the same thing every day. I just cannot do it anymore. And you're right, sir. You deserve to have peace. Everybody deserves to have peace in life. Yeah, you are afraid that you're going to be heartbroken if you extend an offer to someone or review something to someone. You're afraid of them rejecting you because you were part of the illusions. You'll never know, I guess. I can't tell you how each person is going to respond. But if it was me, I would say, well, you know what? At least they're doing the mature thing now. They act up really bad, royally. But at least they're doing the mature thing now to fix things. That's how I would see that. I don't know how everyone is going to see it, sir. So I can't tell you what these people, are, what these good old folks are going to say to you, whoever you're going to. But I'm just saying it from my perspective. If this was me, as hard as it may be, because I'm human myself, it would be hard for me to kind of get over that lump, but I would be mature about it and say, hey, yeah, he effed up really bad, royally, but at least he's making an effort to fix it. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Making an effort to fix it. You're trying to bring balance back into a situation. That you want to move on and heal. You realize that you destroy your own life while trying to destroy someone else. Your heart broken because you work with other people to destroy another character that didn't do anything to you. Trying to bring problems to this person. And they know too. They know. I'm telling you, they know. There's really nothing you're going to be saying to this person that they're not aware of. This is someone that kind of just expects the worst so that they're never surprised. So whatever news you're bringing to this person, whatever information, whoever you are, sir, I don't know you, <laughs> whoever you're bringing it to, I'm just saying, okay? They know. This person may even know more about what's going on behind the scenes than you do, but maybe you have some type of specific information for someone out there. She's If she or he is showing up in a high priestess energy, I can guarantee you, they know. Collective, what I mean is, <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Source, what is your message and advice to us today? What would you like us to be aware of? Thank you. Three again. Three, we want to thank you for protection, please. Make a record of this reading for the general collective. Okay, so we're going to start with zero. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new insights and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Eight and nine. Eight. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Be represent oh, oh, they missed the letter. By representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation, I am successful. Sorry about that. They missed the letter in there. It kind of threw me off. Okay, 333 three, three, and it's 9. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. 
live your truth and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.